I'll make the account good next week. I promise. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Shit!
Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know... Ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. I mean, I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too. This kid. With... I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, you know? Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right? Fucking on top! And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I mean, I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but. That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay.
Receptors. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? What the fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven. That this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about refund. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want a drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. I grow it myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Yeah, here you hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but uh, oh. I never let them get to you. Oh, the fuck! Ah.
yourself into this. After that, you see, the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. Let me ask you a question. Big Daddy's home, as if anyone gives a shit. Social reject! TV reject! Internet freak! You make me sick! Everything <laughs> makes me sick! You have an eating disorder!
You got lucky, buddy. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Matrazzo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The shop's on Little Portola. How's it going? Get that! Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. What if the investors won't get their money back? You reading me? Like mm -hmm. really okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. Glasses are live, shoot away. Keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm.
Come on, we need a shot of the alarm console. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> No, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building, see where the ventilation comes out. Time was, a brother used to know who to trust around here. Not no more. Chokes, baby. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? Hell, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. I'm on the roof! I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there.
risking blowing this whole thing. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system is linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Uh, might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Go and leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, you know, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. Making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, still a hothead? Well, some things never change. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Yeah, it might be hot and heavy in there. This guy will keep it from going bad. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Hacker back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. That look good to you? Are you sure? Okay, I I'll look into how you can find a tack team and get their weapons, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good, good. 
I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. <laughs>